Hello, Lisa. Hello, Thomas. Okay, so now many of us here in the Western world, if you will, were introduced to the left hand path through Satanism. Most in most cases a Levain Satanism. Right. And a lot of us were either introduced or became aware of our satanic nature through another, through a mm -hmm. let's say a friend or a colleague or whatever. Now you had a mentioned, very special friend. Yeah, you had mentioned someone, as you can basically say, your first satanic friend. Yes. Yeah, his name is Peter, uh, although he liked to be referred to as a Piet. And um, he was a very unique character, but he certainly saw something in me that I was not unaware of, but wasn't fully developed. Right now, you'd grown up pagan. Absolutely, yeah, I'd grown up pagan. But uh, you weren't a moo moo wearing. No, I wasn't. No, <laughs> I you know, did not dance wear moo around in circles with. Yeah, and uh, yeah. he was actually Santorian, very strong Santorian, and. Uh, Santorian slash Satanist. Yes. Okay. Yeah, he had both of those quite strong in him. Now. Okay, uh, th th tell me a little about his nature. You had you had mentioned something about uh, flowers and uh, nails. Oh, flower and nails. Flower, flower not and flowers. nails. Yes, mm -hmm. we were walking down a, what was considered the hip part of the city we lived in. It was very crowded, very dense population with you know artists and such things, and there was a restaurant that he felt didn't treat him right. So he happened to have a bag of flour and a pocket full of nails. That was just, I didn't know that he had these on him. So what he did, the, the, the restaurant was located in a court room, not court room, uh, I don't know what you call it. Um, it was an outdoor restaurant. And to get in, you know, from the street, you'd go through this courtyard door. And so what he did on the sidewalk was he pulled out his flour and drew, drew this big circle and some imagery, Santorian symbol, and then threw the nails on it, and he goes, they won't have business anymore, right? <laughs> and did people... That nobody would go in, but right. he, because he knew people would have gone in because they would have had to have gone through the flower. And people actually avoided it? Yes. We went back about an hour <laughs> later, and nobody had gone in. Right? Wow. It was a, he was a hysterical man, a very deep man. Now, he had nicknames for you, or a nickname for <clears throat> you? Akasha. Okay. Yes. And if he saw my temper or blood starting to boil, he'd go, Akasha? No. no. <laughs> now, he, now, he wasn't, he was an artist, artist, as in oh, painter? Yeah, he had, oh, yeah, he what? had a degree in fine arts, and he was a curator uh, at a museum, or an art gallery. It was an art gallery museum thing. So uh, he was also, I think, as part of his nature, he was very much a performance artist. Life was just a performance he had this thing with, uh, he liked to shock people uh, uh, with his performance art. I, it, he lived that 24-7 as far as I was concerned. Um, there was a time when his neighbors were annoying him. He lived in the top two floors of a Victorian house. So what he did was he took a, a set of speakers, put them against the window, hung out the Nazi flag, and started playing Hitler speeches. So Now there's a, there's a large Jewish community in Winnipeg. Isn't yes. It? Well, and he is Jewish, which is <laughs> the funny thing about this. Yeah, so, yeah, what can be said, you know it, what I mean? Exactly. So he would, you know, boom the Nazi, or Hitler speeches, and it was a very elite neighborhood. So somebody, of course, is always going to call the cops, but he would always pull the speakers out and pull the flag in before the cops arrived. You know, and as soon as they left, he put out the flag and put the speakers up. <laughs> Now, he was like, where is he now? Where, where, you, you haven't been able to get a hold of him? I have not been able to find him at all. Um, his health wasn't very good. so He was, he was gay, right? Yes. And, yeah. And HIV positive. Yeah, he was. Uh, so um, it's, been, it's been, I have tried over you know, the past several years, and he is just not around anymore. And it's sort of, I know Peter would have found me. That's the thing. We were we were extremely close, 
But yeah, he was my first uh, my first satanic friend. <laughs>